Well, hello there my YouTube gang. What's up? It's Johnny Varsity again after a long period of absence because I have a lot of work and I'm taking a calculus course and I kind of don't have time for anything. In any case, today I'm going to deal with the hypocrisy of the left. Now, as you know, I have a huge problem with the left because my wife is a lefty, although I think I might be changing her mind bit by bit. But never mind. First, I want you to see how the LSE, yeah, the London School of Economics, or as I like to call it, the London School of Idiots, you know, that's the one who just had the whole thing about Libya giving money and Gaddafi and stuff like that. I want you to see how they reacted when Dania Yalon, a Knesset member, came to their school to lecture. Let's see. Palestinians do it purposely. They actually go and target babies as their modus operandi. And even better, they actually hide behind their babies so they will get killed so stupid bitches like you will go and scream 250 babies killed by ya! And now let's see how Dr. Alia Ibrahimi or whatever announces her beloved speaker, Colonel Gaddafi, or as she calls him, brother leader, no less. Let's see. Good evening. Welcome, everyone. And it's also very much my pleasure to welcome our guest, Colonel Mohammed Gaddafi of Libya. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Dr. Ali Ibrahimi. I'm a research fellow at LSE Global Governance. But it's not only the Ibrahimi chick. Let's see how the audience reacted to their brother leader. Yay! Yay! Murderous dictator! Yay! Yay! And now to my most beloved professor, Mr. David Held, who actually said he's not willing to set a foot in Israel because it's a corrupt occupier. On the other hand, he was willing to visit Libya in 2009, glorifying it as a democracy, no less. Let's see how he introduces Saif al-Islam, you know, Gaddafi's son, who we all remember standing on a roof of a car, holding a gun, speaking to his troops on their way to butcher Libyan civilians. Well, good evening to you all and welcome to this special Ralph Miliband lecture presented by Saif al-Islam al-Gaddafi. And let me say right from the beginning what a pleasure it is for me to have him here. Founded in 2003, the Gaddafi Foundation devotes itself to development and humanitarian work and, most importantly, in the human rights field. SAFE is committed to resolving contentious international and domestic issues through dialogue, debate and peaceful negotiations. I've come to know SAFE as someone who looks to democracy, civil society and deep liberal values for the core of his inspiration. <laughs> Oh shit, man. Okay, now let's see what the audience has to say about it. <laughs> now, here's another little small hypocrisy example from the LSE as they welcome the notable speaker Mahmet Ali El Talat who was the president of the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, which is a part of Cyprus which is unlawfully occupied by Turkey. Also, you need to remember that Turkey is one of the worst oppressors in the world of the Kurds, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, because you probably don't, then see my video about is anti-Zionism a form of anti-Semitism, and there's a link in the description box. But now, let's see how the freedom, anti-oppression, anti-occupation LSE students welcome Mr. Ali Talat. Mehmed Ali Talat will speak to us this evening 
Please join me now to extend a warm welcome to our speaker. And just to wrap things up, let's go back to Dani Ayalon, remember, at LSE. And I have only one thing to say about this. You're a bunch of fucking lefty hypocrites, and I just love it when you go marching in the streets with flags of Hezbollah and Hamas. But I don't blame you, because here are two of your beloved and most prominent leaders. I was, of course, happy to meet the Hezbollah people, and I have no problem saying that I do want to express solidarity with them. إلا أن تشامسكي أثر أن يختار لأم كامل أبغض الصور عندها فابتسم مصافحا مسؤول منطقة الجنوب في حزب الله نبيل قاووق ليدخلا معا قاعة شهداء المعتقل ابتسامة إضافية التقطتها أم كامل لتشامسكي الذي تسلم من قاووق صورة تذكارية عن ذكرى التحرير And now to another recent accord of left hypocrisy You probably saw the clip that went completely viral A clip that was produced by Care and Isna Both of whom are organizations with known links to Hamas and the Muslim Brotherhood and the blind sheikh from the 1993 World Trade Center attack and especially Isna which was found guilty in a court providing money to Hamas after organizing a charity like the one in Orange County where the video hate comes to Orange County was produced. Now let's see some of the shit that the right wingers there said about Muslims. My favorite part. One nation under God, not Allah. What is it about God that he goes under different names to different peoples and then encourage them to kill each other because they call him in another name? But never mind. You know all that hate comes to Orange County. Let's see a little bit of hate coming to Mormons. <laughs> I just invented a new word. Now, I must admit, if I was that kind of person that goes to rallies and demonstrations and stuff like that, I would most probably go to the rally with gays against Mormons than go to the rally of right-wingers against Muslims. But the point is that on highly polarizing issues, people tend to be very nasty to each other. But another thing that indicates the hypocrisy of the left is the following part. Nobody in the CARE video mentioned who the speakers are. Now, CARE themselves tell you who the speakers are and how controversial they are on their own website. But somehow, in the video itself, it kind of vanished. Of course, it wasn't mentioned by Coughlin or by Volga or by anyone else who did a video about hate comes to Orange County. I don't know if they didn't bother to check. I don't know if they didn't care. I have no idea why, but that's what I'm here for. So let's see speaker number one. Brooklyn-based Imam Siraj Wahaj was once named as a co-conspirator in the 1993 World Trade Center bombing. And now 
I want you to meet speaker number two, my favorite, Amir Abdel Malik Ali. Enjoy. If a, if a Jewish person says six million of our people were lost in the Holocaust, and if you say, oh, oh, oh okay, uh, yeah, but not six million, you can go to jail. You can question the Native American numbers, but you cannot question the Israeli Jewish numbers. That is arrogant. Real life examples of how they do us in Palestine, how they did us with the World Trade Center. Both of them. Both of them. I'm just curious. There's a Holocaust happening in the Holy Land, and it must be fought, and it will be fought, and it is being fought. Liar, right? The truth of the matter is, your days are numbered. We will fight you, we will fight you until we are either martyred or until we are victorious. You have suggested to this audience yes. that there be no dialogue on this campus with students that are in favor of Israel continuing to exist because soon they'll be and you said I quote you dog in on Hamas so my question to you is do you support Hamas uh, yes do you support Hezbollah uh, yes do you support Islamic Jihad uh, 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 yes y'all the new Nazis y'all the new Nazis y'all the new Nazis now when you take into account those two peace-loving hippies that you just saw. And then you remember that Isna was already caught red-handed giving money to Hamas, money that they collected in a charity just like the one organized in Orange County. Well, then somehow that rally suddenly begins to take a different color to it. Now, I don't really endorse cries like one nation under God, not Allah, and do you beat your wife and whatever. But the thing is that all these cries had nothing to do with the rally itself. Just like we saw in the anti-Mormon demonstration, it had nothing to do with the core issue of why they were there. The thing is that this doesn't count as a case of Islamophobia. This counts as a case of rational fear out of what these people might do to their country. But before I sign off, I need to give a great thanks to Don't Bend Over for Allah. And my next video is a video that I've been researching about for the past three months already. And it's going to be about Iran and should Israel bomb Iran and what the West should do about Iran and what Iran wants to do about Iran and what Iranians want to do about the Islamic Republic and everything else. So, like always, my beloved YouTube gang, peace, love, harmony, have a good one. I love you people, even the leftist, yeah. Oh, and don't forget, the moral high ground is a slippery slope. Bye-bye.